Great. Well done, Angela. Thank you. I'm sure many people will have realized that Angela Ibbotson is no stranger to Go For It. Angela was our first Go For It mother and had her challenges over a year ago now. So, has your life changed since? Uh, yes, quite dramatically, really. Um, I decided after the program that uh, I needed some sort of incentive to keep going. So, um, I was encouraged to become a Look After Yourself tutor. And uh, I applied and got on the course, and now I'm qualified to teach Look After Yourself. That's wonderful. Can you see mm. yourself doing that, Angela? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest of your family? Yes, they've all done extremely well. Uh, my husband, Neil, he's still not smoking. Um, and the children, you know, they're quite fit doing more exercise now than they used to do. And, um, you know, we still stick with the wholemeal bread and the, you know, low-fat spreads, etc. So, yes, we're doing smashing, thanks. Well, I'm glad to hear it, and it's nice yeah. to have you back with mm. us. Thank you. So, Go For It has had a little success, but better this year's first family. They've been trying really hard to impress our experts. I mean, listen to this, Peter, too tired after work to exercise. <laughs> Walked around large car boot sale. Listen, even I do more exercise than that. And Angela's got an absolute gem. Took dog for a walk and a run. Now, what did the running, the dog or you? <laughs> I think it was both. It was both. Yes. <laughs> Is it, did you, the exercise, was that the thing you were least looking forward to? No, that, that was OK. It, it was the smoking that I wasn't looking forward to. Well, going on to um, Wayne, you did pretty well, didn't you, on your exercise score last time. Have you been doing even more? Yes, I've been doing a lot of swimming lately, and um, it's really enjoyable. And at the same time I've been doing it, I've been getting fitter. Well, last time, Peter only scored three for exercise. But last week, he had one long session of Keep Fit and three half-hour bicycle rides, giving him a maximum 20 for aerobic exercise. There we are, 20. And the other Chadwicks did well too, though Angela was handicapped by a strain. And they all score full five points for their new active lifestyles. So at the halfway stage, the scores out of 50 are looking really good. Just look at this. Angela, 45. Peter, he's got 50. Wayne has 50. And Debbie, 50 as well. So now on to a score which will probably make the difference as to whether Angela and Peter get over the 80 barrier. Smoking. Last time, it looked like this. Maximum points for the non-smokers and zero for the smokers. This time, Peter scores 20 as an ex-smoker, but uh, no score apparently for Angela. Ah, that's because the experts have left it to me. Yes, you guessed it. I want to say 20 points, but you've been extremely honest. I must say, Angela, we've got things like cigarettes, none, well, just a few puffs. <laughs> you should have cheated. There's no one looking. And on another day, half a cigarette. Do you reckon you deserve the 20? Well, I think I, I deserve more than that. Do for you? actually stopping now, yeah. It, was it tougher than you thought it would be? You mentioned just now, didn't you, that you thought smoking was the most difficult challenge? Yes, it was. I mean, these people that don't smoke, they just don't realise. It is hard. Don't tell me. Uh, as somebody that's tried and failed many times, it is a trouble with non-smokers, isn't it? I don't think they appreciate how hard it is to give up smoking. No, I don't think they do. What went wrong? What were those times that had the... What was it? Let's have a look again. Just a few puffs. Well, but my... My mum moved at the back of me, and she smokes. All my sisters smoke as well, and I visit her quite a lot. And they all smoke, and I thought, well, let me just have, just have a couple of puffs, you know. And I was all right after that. And what, about, after but what about this half a cigarette? I mean, things must have been pretty bad on that day. <laughs> they was, they were. <laughs> and was you blame, blame that on your mum as well? Yes. Well, I think you've done brilliantly, and, and Harrod, Thanks. I think, 50. Well, you did say earlier on 20, and it's interesting to hear that Angela thinks she ought to get more, even though ex-smokers who've given up altogether only get 20. But go for it, you see, isn't about deserving. It's not morals we're scoring. It's actual health. Smoking is the worst thing you can do to your health. So, Angela, I think I ought to give you 15. What about that, Angela? Not bad. Not bad? I think you're a real meanie, Anne Harrod, and I think you've been extremely hard on, on uh, Angela indeed. Well, the ch Actually, they're Jackson Pollocks. <laughs> I'd agree with you there, sport. Fosters, the amber nectar.